Hey guys, it's Mary Ellen. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to be creating two custom spreads for two of my patrons on Patreon, Cindy and Nicole. So if you're interested in seeing what they ask for and what I create, keep watching. Okay, here we go. It is 6.30 at night. I'm filming at night these days because of, the, because of the basement construction. So you get Mary Ellen drinking a glass of wine. We're, we're all friends here. We're sitting down, having a glass of wine, have one with me, and we're just gonna plan. So get out your planner and let's do it. The first spread is for Cindy. Um, Cindy asked for an undated spread in the big vertical happy planner. I do not have any undated pages. I thought I had an extension pack, but all of my undated extension packs are actually dashboard. So I should probably invest in a couple of undated vertical extension packs, but I don't have any, so we're just gonna make do. I'm gonna use this paper. This is so pretty. It's Amy Tangerine. It's called Brave and Bold, and I will link in the description box for you so you can purchase it if you want. It's double-sided, here's the other side, but like, I just think this is beautiful. Cindy asked for something experimental, so I'm gonna give it to her. <laughs> um, something I've never done before anyway. So what I'm gonna do is take, make some big triangles. So I'm gonna take the paper from this corner to that corner, I'm gonna cut like that, and then on the other side, I'm gonna do the same thing. And then I'm gonna layer a bunch of boxes on the top of it. Um, I don't think I've done that before, probably. I will tell you, I am not good at any sort of spatial awareness. We've talked about this on my channel. I'm horrible at math. I'm horrible at geometry. I'm horrible with ooh, with figuring out like how things are gonna to go together and what order they go in and how to turn it to make it fit and all that kind of stuff. I am not good with that. So I may mess this up. We'll see. We will see. All right, now at least I know where to cut. Okay. So if I cut this first, bear with me as I figure this out. How am I gonna do this? I can't fit it in the trimmer. <laughs> I can't fit it in my trimmer. Um, well, I think I'm just gonna have to wing it myself. I'm gonna use a ruler, I guess, to, um, yeah, let me just get a ruler. I wasn't, I was trying to avoid doing that, but like, I feel like it's needed. So <sighs> off to a good start. So I'm gonna take a ruler. By the way, I hate how much noise my chair makes. Do you hear it when I roll around? It's so annoying. I'm gonna put this like this, and bring it down to this corner. I know there's a better way to do this, you guys, and I don't know what it is. So it might be off, <laughs> we'll see. Two away from the 15, that is how I measure. Two away from the 15. By the way, I do know there's probably a much easier way to do that. So we're just gonna cut it with scissors. Try to cut as straight as I can. Now do we trim, we do the same thing over here. Let's just make sure. Um, no, that's not gonna work, is it? This will work that way, but I mean, we could do it this way. This is like a huge challenge for me, you guys. I'm not kidding you. This is a giant challenge as we figure out um, geometry and how to do this. So if I, please don't make fun of me. So if I put this here and it's like that shape that I want, right? Then it makes sense that, I wanna make sure I get the flowers that I want too. I wanna kind of bring some of that, the flowers in I think. So it makes sense that this would be the shape. Um, that I, yes, that's the shape I want. Okay, we can trace it. But first let's make sure this fits okay. 
Wait, I was gonna do it this way. Oh my goodness, I did it backwards. I am a piece of work. What's wrong with my brain? I just don't think it works in that way at all. I don't think it does. And you know, we're not all made the same. <laughs> we're not all made the same. Am I the only one who has problems with this kind of stuff? Please tell me that I'm not. Cause like, I'm not, I'm, what am I doing? Cause I, I feel as though I am. And I know that's not true, but like sometimes I feel super inferior when it comes to stuff like that. So please tell me I am not alone in that whole like flip it and cut it this way and like that that's not working. Like let me know in the comments if that doesn't work for you either. I think for most people it probably is very simple in their head, but for me it is definitely a learning issue. <laughs> I don't want to say I have a learning disability. I don't, but like I, it's definitely like some sort of mental block that I have and I don't understand it. And I never really knew it until I started doing this planning thing. <laughs> Ugh. Let's hope this works or if it doesn't work, I'll be really embarrassed. Like I'd rather not be embarrassed. I'm not ever embarrassed on my channel, but like, this would embarrass me if it doesn't work since I just did all that. Okay, so this one goes this way. And this one goes, um, no, wait, this one goes this way. See, <laughs> this one goes this way. Wait, does it? Oh no. I cut it wrong. Don't say a word, you guys, don't say a word. I am truly embarrassed at my skills. It is what it is. We can't all be good at everything. Oh my goodness. I swear it's not the line. It's just my brain. My brain really works in mysterious ways. I don't know why. But here we are and this is what we're dealing with. So let's just make the best of it. Um, I'm cutting it like that. Cause I think that's kind of cooler anyway. I don't really like this sharp, um, triangle. So I kind of want to like do something a little bit different, you know, um, maybe I cut it like right here or something at that line. I just don't really like how sharp it is, but maybe with like this kind of being different from this side, maybe it's good. I could also like, I can do anything I want. Really. I could take it like this even and make like a little mountain or take it down like this and cut it there. That actually looks really cool. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> so when you make mistakes, just make the most of them, you know? Okay. Remind me never to do that again. Anyway, let's move on, shall we? I'm gonna get my Tombow Mono adhesive tape and we're gonna tape these babies down for Cindy. Cindy, you wanted me to try something experimental. Well, this wasn't super experimental, but like this is experimental enough for me. Okay. This paper is very gorgeous. At least we have that. I hope at the very least I gave you a laugh. <laughs> uh, um, I gave you a laugh in that I can't figure that stuff out. And at least maybe it made you not feel so alone if you, if, oh my gosh, look at that. If you and your brain aren't like that, you know? Or, like, or I should say are like that. <sighs> okay. Um, I'm just gonna try Trim this down like so. Hopefully I did that straight. This is pretty thick paper. All right, that's pretty good. That's really cool, don't you think? I think that's actually really cool. And I'm glad I did it, okay? I'm glad we had a happy accident and I didn't do this and this because this is better in my opinion. Okay, all right, now what do we do? Well, 
I have this little colorful desert pack from the Happy Planner. I actually never opened it until like five minutes ago. I didn't even realize that I didn't open it, but I didn't. This really matches. I think this matches. Um, this one, not these necessarily, but like these colors, perfect, right? So I thought I would at least, at the very least, take these and then maybe some put some boxes on top of that paper. I don't wanna to put too many boxes on top of it because it's so pretty, but like maybe we could put these on top. I don't know. Lovely day, the good life, pure magic. I like the good life. We could even do this. I feel like this needs to go on that side and this needs to go on this side because there's a lot of pink there and a lot of green there. Am I right? Yes. Let's put it down. Pure magic. The good life. I don't usually put, um, wait, that should go at least in line the edge. I don't usually put um, stickers on top of scrapbook paper. So there you go, something else experimental. I did it again. Living the good life. I also, there's a little treat for you there, Cindy. Okay. Okay, so since there's gold in here, let's bring in gold boxes. I, I'm feeling it in this spread. I don't feel it in every spread, but I'm feeling it in this one. I'm feeling pure magic here. And I'm feeling these. Good vibes, whatever. Um, I'm not gonna use this sticker here because like I don't have another one of the same one or the same color, but I like these. These make me feel good. Born to wander, born to roam. I know for a fact that Cindy does like to travel, um, or at least she has been traveling lately. So I think that's um, kind of appropriate. Be like a flower and reach for the sun, Cindy. Just do it. I'm gonna put this down here. Look, I know I just took up a lot of space on those days. Sorry. It is what it is. Let's put a couple of these down. Live a life that is full. Life is lovely and so are you. Should I use this one? I feel like these two match and coordinate together. And I'm gonna put boxes on top of them, I think. Let's put this over. Actually, this one doesn't go. Do you see what I'm saying? I feel like this doesn't go. I changed my mind. Where is there a lot of like mint green and pink? I know it's somewhere. Um, I mean, I could use like this and this, but I just feel like I shouldn't. I'm gonna pause and look for like these kind of colors and I'll be right back. Wait, I've never even used one sticker out of here. Let's look in this book. I know a lot of it's like lettering type stickers, but Maybe there's something in here we can use because the colors seem to be appropriate for the spread. Like, look at this, dream, create, inspire. Like, it feels like it belongs. Even this. Um, let's just take a look. I really like these. It just feels better than that other color. And also, I really like this with it for some reason. You know, the colors are right. I'm not gonna try to match this bright yellowy green color anywhere. Just saying, I am going to not do that. I'm not worry about that, you know? This one too, we're gonna use these three. Maybe there's some boxes in here that aren't lettering related, but I'm not sure. Oh wait, here's some. And here's some. And here's some. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see. Stickers on my fingers. You know I like it. Always doing that. Um, I feel like this. I honestly feel like this belongs over here. And do I want to put it on top of another sticker? Let's get this peach one. 
I know it's like a lettering sticker. I don't really care. Should I layer on top of that? Yeah. We're just trying new things today. That's what Cindy wanted, so that's what Cindy gets. <laughs> when my patrons ask for something, they get it. Um, I don't love that, but we'll put something with it and it'll like play off of that and it'll be okay. I really like this and I don't know why, um, but I'm gonna put it down. I'm gonna layer some, ah, crooked, shoot. Um, let me pick it up. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Do I want it there though? Now I'm wondering. I kind of want this, this, and this together for some reason. Do I want to put it right with it? No. I know I'm using a lot of space. <laughs> Cindy, I really hope you don't have a lot to write in that week. Okay. I know it's a weird color combo, um, but we're gonna make it work. Also, I have these boxes in the Align sticker book that are like that gray, right? Like that one, I think is pretty good. That one actually maybe. Which one's better? Um, I have like the big sticker book here and I have the, the classic one. I didn't get the mini, but I feel like this is gonna go. I sort of like the bluish gray better. Let me just look. I feel like that works okay so we're gonna pull in some of these boxes here i'm gonna put one here i know it's across two days we're gonna do it anyway we're gonna put one down here call me crazy we need like some sort of peach box let's look back in this book here put this like this for a Thursday, I mean a Friday box, okay. Bringing this in. It's gonna pull in that color. Let's see if there's some other boxes in here first. A lot of them have letters on them, which I don't want. At least not for this spread, you know. There's this one. It's gonna create a different look than this, you know. I know what you're thinking. Mary Ellen, where are the lines? Um, they're not here and I may not put any in. We'll see how I feel. I don't think I'm gonna use that. I know, I put it right on top of that. That was a bad idea. All right, how about this one today? And we'll overlap that. This is kind of weird, but kind of not. Maybe I take this off and put a few lines down there. What I'm gonna do here is wrap the lines around this. So there's still gonna be, actually, I think I'm gonna use the boxes this time too. There's still gonna be lines here for Cindy. It's just that they're not gonna like go all the way over. Wait, does that one now? And it's going to look like it goes kind of next to that box. So some of the lines will be shorter. Then we'll put some up here too. So we're going to have two days of checklists. And then maybe I'll make like a checklist in the sidebar too, um, in case she needs more. That makes me feel better that it, like it feels a little more functional with those, you know? And then we can still put this on, we'll just put it down here. Can use this little flag maybe. Okay, right down here. Um, I'm 
thinking probably another box. I think that makes sense. These colors actually are just the same as this almost. Why don't I bring in a couple of these? It's like almost exactly the same. I didn't notice that. Is there a boxes? Look at that. Um, that's really a good color match, you know. You probably noticed that before I did. So I'm gonna take this one. I think I'm gonna trim this down. So it's not gonna say no to self like up there. It's gonna be a little bit different. Um, and yeah, we'll put it right here. Okay. And then what else? What else? What else? Okay. So I have this one might as well match it to this side too. So let's put it down here. Okay. And then there's a little space up there so we can put something. Um, again a little quote or like another box good enough let's put it right there okay let's find a long box sticker I don't know that there's any in here that's the only thing and I kind of want those colors like that gray or whatever I almost want to put something on the other side of this I guess I'm going to use one of these Maybe even a gray at this point. Let's do it. Okay, so we'll put a gray box here. And then, what else? Put this one in. We put that down here. What do I put in the middle though? What do I put there? I have this bright type sticker book sitting right here. What, maybe there's like a little quote we can put in there. I feel like that's better because I, I sort of like the thought of like the flowers just being completely separate. These flowers really match, but I don't want any more flowers there, I don't think. So let's just grab some kind of quote. Here we go. This one's pretty good, right? Okay, I know what you're thinking. What are you thinking? You tell me. Oh, wait, did Cindy get a hair? No. Okay, so what you're thinking is, Mary Ellen, that color doesn't match the colors on this spread. It kind of matches this one, but not too much. Um, you are correct, but I can use my acrylograph pens to color it. So what color do I want it? We have that one, we have that one. I think I wanted this one, don't you? Because there's none of that on the, on the spread and I think we need that color. Let's say a little prayer that our acrylograph pens have that color. So these are from Archer and Olive. Oh, I see one. Oh, look at, ooh, <laughs> I'm dropping them everywhere. These are from Archer and Olive and they are paint pens. They are opaque paint pens. Um, lots of different colors. This is a 0.7 millimeter and basically you can color your stickers in. So let's color in the go to change the color of that. It definitely works easier on the paper stickers, but it does work on the clear stickers as well. It just takes a little time because you have to let it dry. So I'm just going to go all in and I'm going to color this. And you know what? What's the worst that can happen? It looks bad. Well, I can change the sticker. I can take it off. Use a different sticker. It doesn't matter. Do <laughs> you think Bumble approves? This is hard because this has like white. Do you see the white around it? That's like what's throwing me here. Um, 
it would be a lot easier if that wasn't there, but it's not, so I'm gonna deal with it. I'm just gonna go all in. Once again, hard to do this with my head far from the page and without my reading glasses, but I'll make it work. Also, sometimes I wish I wasn't so extra and could just like throw down some stickers and call it a day. <laughs> you know? It would be a lot easier. It would be a lot easier, but... I am Mary Ellen, and this is the way Mary Ellen works, and that's just how it is. So... I have to do it, because once I think of it, if I don't do it, I'm like, oh, I should have done that. It would look so much better if I did that, Oh, you know? Luckily, I'm only gonna have to do one coat or so of this, I think. Sorry for you know who. Doing you know what. Don't mess me up, Bumble. Don't mess me up. She's been a little bit antsy today. They jackhammered the floor today. There's a lot of noise down in the basement and she was like, what is going on? I don't think she liked it very much. That's pretty dark compared to like that and that, but this is pretty dark compared to that and that. So I think I'm all right with that. I just said that a lot of times. <laughs> okay, let's stand up and take a look at this spread and just see what it looks like. It's definitely different, I will say. It's very different. Um, I don't hate it. I kind of like it. You know, sometimes I have, like, an idea in my mind, and I I just, like, think, okay, this is what it's going to look like, and it's not at all. And this is one of those spreads where I have no idea why it turned out like this, but I got in the zone, <laughs> and I finished it, and it's done, and it's not bad. It's not bad. Um, now I'm going to take, like... I'm gonna write, I was gonna, I'm gonna take, I was, I was gonna take this pen and write Cindy, but I think that's gonna be kind of dark. Eh, why not? Like, write Cindy in this pen. This is where I'm gonna write my note. Hey, Bumble, shut your pie hole. Okay, I'll write her a little note there. Whew, okay, done, now on to Nicole's spread. I bet you thought I forgot that Cindy's spread was supposed to be undated. I did. <laughs> um, I have the journaling sticker book here and there's these little circles that have like a little gold rim around them and there's gold in here a little bit. So I thought these would be cool to put up there for like, oh no, I need to white it out apparently. Um, just so that Cindy can write in her own dates there. Let me get white out here. I'm just going to white these dates out. I don't think I've ever used these ones for like an undated spread, but these are so cute. And we're going to have to cover that January too. Let's get one that's going to match that for January. I mean for like covering January in this fit. Yep. All right, Cindy, I'm glad I did not forget. <laughs> I hope you are too. Okay, second spread is for Nicole. And I'm gonna use the new Archer and Olive subscription box. This is from the December subscription box, like these things, and I'm gonna use them. Um, I really love this. This is meant to go in a bullet journal um, this way, and then you can see like part of the page there, but I'm gonna use it in Nicole's spread. So the first thing I'm gonna do then is cut this um, counterpart off. Don't worry, we're still gonna use this paper on the other side, but I just want to cut that part off and keep this part and hopefully it will work out. And then we are going to glue this down. Now, I thought about this and I thought, wouldn't it be interesting if I didn't just take it to the middle? 
and cut it. Like what if I brought it all the way over to this side? I know that's a little weird, but I have this um, washi tape that's like a grid. It's like my favorite washi tape, Nicole. I'm using it on you, maybe. I thought maybe I like tape it down and cut it there, like on the same thing, but I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure if that would look weird or not, um, but I'm all about taking the chance. So let's try it and just see how it looks. I can always take it off later if I don't like it. So I'm gonna get my Tombow Mono Adhesive Tape and just tape this baby down this way, not this way. <laughs> okay. So we are going to put this right over top of that. Okay, and now, like I said, I'm gonna use some of this. This comes from like my favorite washi tape set from the washi tape shop. I love this set. It's so cool. Like it's a whole bunch of different um, grid washi tapes of all different patterns and sizes and colors. Actually the sizes are the same, but patterns and colors are different. And it's really cool. I will link that for you. If you use code Bumble10, you can get 10% off the washi tape shop. So I'm gonna take this and pretend that I'm just like kind of still going along the same, you know, pattern, the same road here, and just kind of twist it around like this. See how that looks. All right, so I know it looks unfinished now, but I think I'm gonna come in here and maybe like put some boxes, like especially here to cover that point, and I think it might be cool. Or it might not, I don't know. But I think we're gonna do it. Okay, so I'm gonna flip this and cut it with my paper trimmer. Just to get right in the middle there. So basically you're gonna line that wire up like right with the middle part where you wanna cut. Just so it's exact. Uh-oh, he's cutting at the top, which shouldn't have happened, but only a tiny bit. Okay, so we have it like this. Now we're gonna get the crocodile punch and go in, whoops, dropping things all over the place. We're gonna go in and cut, I mean punch out um, a few of these holes here. So you're gonna line it up with this, click. My favorite tool as of lately. I love it, love it, love it. It makes it so easy to punch holes for your discs, like super easy. See, and they're always pretty accurate. I mean, there's always very accurate, to be honest. Just line it up and punch, line it up and punch. That way you don't have to get the big punch out. All right, so that part is done. Now, what are we gonna do with this other piece of black paper, you ask? Well, um, I was gonna take it straight across here like this, but what if I did this type of cut on this, did the same type of thing. I don't know. Let's try it. Let me get some bigger scissors here. Just sort of like emulate what's going on here over on this side. I don't like to waste parts of things, so like, I had this, I wasn't gonna use it. I might as well use the black paper because it's gonna match the paper exactly that's on the other side, so I think it's perfect. Okay, so we could do the same thing here and take it over to there, or we could end it there. I kinda like the idea of doing the same thing um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the edge of it, but let's try it again and see what we can do. I know Nicole likes it when I try like different types of things. 
for her spreads, you know? I think most of the patrons like that when I get like kind of creative with it. So that's what I'm doing. Almost back, you guys. She's back. Ah, it's not exact. Darn it. Maybe I can still pull it off. Can I? Oh, please. I know it's permanent mono adhesive, but no, it's not. It's stuck. Okay. Well, that's all right because we have something handy called a craft knife here. I'm going to just freehand it and try to get it lined up there better. We'll see if that worked. Yep, that's pretty good. It's not perfect. It's pretty good though. That's good enough for me. Let's get the Fiskars paper trimmer again. Come in here with this bad boy and cut out this section. Or should I say, cut this section. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing with the crop doll punch. And punch it out. I did cut some of this, sorry Nicole. It is what it is, you know? Like this is the hard part, then it's the fun part. Let's just get through this part together and then I can do fun stuff. Okay, cool. So more washi tape. Let's do the same thing. Doing some mirror action here. It's just gonna be really similar to the other side. And then do the swoop over here, whoops. Okay, cool. All right, there's something on there. I don't know what it is, it's okay. Now what do we do? <laughs> Um, like I said, I don't like to waste any part of anything that I have. This whole sheet is a sticker. So you see this up here? This is going to be the same colors as your stickers. So I'm going to use this in whatever way. Um, but I am going to cut out a strip first. First of all, let me cut a strip. Um, up to that, like up to right before the design starts there just so I have stuff to work with that that's the same colors as like the stickers. Do you know what I mean? So that um, it's all gonna match really well. Now, this stuff came from the Archer and Olive December subscription box. It is a quarterly subscription box. Um, I would recommend their boxes. I'm actually not on their, their brand Delight Ambassador team anymore. And, but, so they're not sponsoring this or anything like that, but I really, really like the quality of their stuff a lot. So you can sign up and you can get um, like one box and then you have to sign up for the subscription, but if you want to, you can like cancel it right after you get your box and then it's fine. You know what I mean? So I would recommend trying it out and I'll put an affiliate link for, for that down below. Um, Last I checked, this box is still available. I do not know if it will continue to be available or if it will be available when you watch this video, but hopefully it will. Okay, so I thought lots of things with this. I thought I could take it to the edge here. I thought I could cut it up and make like a little mosaic around. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet, but I have two more of these sheets to work with and more of this, so I'm gonna probably use more of it. Okay, let's use some of these animals up here and like some stars because I think it's just super fun and cool. And like it goes perfectly on the black paper. It's just like such a fun look. And yeah, I'm excited about this box and I wanted to use it right away. And I thought of Nicole because Nicole does like Archer and Olive products and I just thought it would be fun to use it for her. So. That's what I'm doing. Let's just throw a couple stars in there for fun. Stars and moons and animals. 
Maybe a couple constellations too. This is like a dreamy thing, dreamy theme going on, isn't it? It's kind of cool. I like it. I want to use the same one, but I don't want it to look exactly the same, so I'm going to cut off the moon. Maybe use that separately. I'm going to turn it around, you know, so it looks a little bit different than before. I'll use another moon over here, maybe in the corner. And then another big star here. Okay, but let's throw in some animals because that's really what I like the best about this box are these fun little animals. So that did not come off my finger, did it? Okay. Ugh. These They're so cute. The fox and the deer and the bear and the bunny. Oh boy, they're so, so cute. Although there's no bunnies on here. There's a bunny on the bullet journal that they sent me or that I ordered, I should say. <laughs> um... Let's make them just kind of dreamy up here and just like, it's like, um, it's a dream, Nicole. It's like a, a spread, like you're dreaming. Definitely not your typical spread, but um, one that's gonna be interesting. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, you guys. I filmed like, I don't even know how many of these in a row. <laughs> I think I've just filmed maybe like six, no, not six, like four videos in a row, and I'm kind of stir crazy right now. So if I sound funny, that's why. Um, let's see. Let's put that there. Another one, and then the fox, I guess. Although the fox is next to the fox. Oh well, they're a fox couple. Right, let's take a look at that. Does that look weird? I just covered up the part that I was gonna use for like the um, mosaic or whatever. Maybe I'll do something like that down here. So Archer and Olive in the subscription box, also um, part of it was like these pens that are the colors of these, but I found that the pink did not match the bear. I do have a jelly roll pen, a Sakura jelly roll that's like in the same exact color as the bear. So I thought I'd use this. Um, and I, what I thought I would do is just come in here and like color in some of these little stars on this side, just for something different and like brighten it up down here a little bit, add some color down here. Um, put a couple more. That color is like absolutely perfect, isn't it? I love it. So maybe a little bit bright for that, but it's really pretty good. And and then over here in this set, we do have two, two colors that really match the colors of the stickers. This one and this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some of these. Um, let's use this one for, hold on Bumble. I think she wants her dinner. Let's use this one. Hang on, baby. She said, Mama, I was hungry. What are you doing, working so late? Let's color this mountain, like a couple of the mountains blue. Maybe just the one in the middle. That looks cool. Then maybe we um, maybe we color it another one like the green. That's really cute. <laughs> That's really cute. Um, now I want to color more of this. I kind of want to color this gold, but I need like a gold metallic. I'll find one of those. Um, and now let's put some like blue in here. I guess I want to leave some of it white though for the contrast, but it's kind of cool. There you go, Nicole. True mess up there. Ah, 
Okay. Make some of them a little bigger than they actually are. I think that's good. Um, I like this better than this. <laughs> I don't know what I did here, but maybe if I bring in some like dots up here for like the stars too, it'll be, you know, farther away stars or something and maybe it'll be a little bit better. I don't know, I'm finding it to be not as good. Let's bring in some of those kinds of twinkly stars. I know that like the gold stars are there and it looks like regular stars, but like, let's just bring in other stuff too. Who cares? This is a dreamland. It doesn't have to be real people. I'm liking it better now that I'm adding these in, I think. That's a little bit more interest and just feels better to me. Nicole, I'm taking a long time tonight on your spread because I want to. Should we leave the moon white? We could. Let me pause and see if I can find like a gold metallic, a curly graph maybe. Okay, I found one. Let's hope it works. Shake, shake, shake. Okay. We're just gonna go for it. It's not the same exact color as those gold ones. You know what I mean? I'm kind of disappointed that I colored it. That's what you get when you try something new. Um, not not loving it compared to like these, you know? These are nice, shiny, pretty, and then we have that dull um, brown moon <laughs> over there. Um, what I could do is go back over it when it's completely dry, which is all actually now. Um, with like a white pen or even like a bright yellow maybe. Let's take one of their um, white pens and we'll outline it. Maybe that'll look better. To give it a little contrast, a little pop, I don't know. That does look better for sure. All right, let's leave it for now. Okay, now let's, on to the, let's go on to the rest of the spread and like, so that this doesn't take up my entire evening. <laughs> it's already 7.36. Okay. I want to use some of these stickers because I think they're really, really cute. And I haven't forgotten about this stuff. I am going to use this in some fashion. I don't know what yet. Um, but I want to use some of these stickers. So it's going to match. I also have another sticker pack to show you. Let's start with a brain dump on Monday. Everyone needs a Monday brain dump. I'm going to bring it all the way over like this. Nicole, this is going to be your list like of the things you need to get accomplished this week. The week of January 17th, okay? And I'm going to include this because it says something I'm doing for me. These are kind of um, self-care related stickers. Something that you're doing for yourself. I want to make sure you're doing it. So I'm going to give you a sticker right here for that one. Okay. So we got those down. I like this, my mantra sticker. Let's put it, um, here on Sunday. Okay. So what I want to do with this one is I want to cut this because I want to use it, but I don't want it to be exactly like this. So I'm going to cut it. I want it to coordinate, but I don't want it to match, like mirror it, you know? Actually, I'm just going to cut it down like so. So that I have that box. Now I am gonna draw another black around it so that it coordinates with it, um, but it gives me another option for a box. And I think I wanna put it, let's see, one there, there, and there. Let's put it up here. Okay. So I know that's crooked. Let's take a pen and write in, or 
make a line for the box. Um, hmm. I'm just gonna use a Stabilo pen. I have been liking these lately. I know this is gonna seem thicker than the rest maybe, but we're just gonna do it, we're gonna do it. Ah, okay. And then this side, yeah, it's crooked, you guys. I'm gonna write directly on the sticker over here to try to straighten it out. It's not too bad. It's not too great, and it's not too bad. All right, we've got those stickers in. Now, um, I have this other sticker book that I was looking at that I thought was kind of cool. So this is a, um, what is this? It's American Crafts, but it's Chamel. I got this at Tuesday morning a while back and I just felt like the colors in here really kind of go with the colors of this spread, you know, so I thought maybe we do some of these and also some of these, can't forget those, um, but I thought these were cute. There is some gold in here too, look, dream, ooh, let's do this and put dream in here. I think I'm going to start with the M and go out from there. That way I can be sure that it's put on there correctly and then it'll end at the end. Because if you start at the at um, the D, you might run into some trouble later. Okay, so dream, that makes sense to me. And we have more stars here we could use. Let's use them. Why not? All right. Let's see. I mean, this is like a actually really cute sticker book. Some of the stickers are like kind of babyish, like bees. I don't like those, but like a lot of them are just really cute. Like that, I mean, she's really cute. I think she's cute. And that says you are super. I don't know. Let's use it. Nicole, you are super. I do believe that. Nicole, you're awesome. Um. Let's keep going. Oh, look, let's match it with hello over on the other side. I don't know, I just think these are adorable. Where am I gonna put it? How about there? Hello, right on the edge. Okay, we're gonna bring in black boxes and lines. Yes, a few lines. Um, let's do that first. Um, maybe we should do it in these colors. That would be kind of cool, right? Yes, let's do it. Might as well go all out. And if we're gonna do black boxes, I feel like colored lines would be kind of cool with them. That makes sense to, in my brain. Okay, so that, let's alternate. So now we're gonna do the green. Um, let's just put one here. Mike is cooking dinner in the background. He is an excellent cook. <laughs> and, Tonight we are having a breakfast dinner because why not? It sounds delicious. I don't really like how that looks, but we're just gonna. Pre because we need to go grocery shopping. Shh! Don't tell them. Do not spill our secrets on the internet. <laughs> yes, it's true. We did not go grocery shopping. So, what do you do when you don't go grocery shopping? Well. You have eggs and corned beef hash for dinner. <laughs> Fun fact, I did not ever eat corned beef hash until I met Mike. And kale. What? And kale. Oh, we're having kale with dinner too. I was gonna say, I, had, I did? Yeah, and eggs. Oh, I messed that up. Sorry, Nicole. Yeah, kale does not go with this, I know, but we need our vegetables, you guys, and it was in the refrigerator. Why is this not working so well now? Uh-oh. Nicole, I screwed it up. Oh no, remember the last spread I did for you, Nicole? Because I do, it was a, um, a Southern Farmhouse one. There we go, I got it going again. It was a Southern Farmhouse one, and like, remember those lines were so faded, and I pretended it was like old wood, you know? was farmhousey. Well, there's no excuse for this one. 
just to say that I must have pressed too hard. Sometimes with gel pens like this, if you press too hard, it starts to not come out. So that's what happened. And I apologize for this fiasco. I'll fix that. Anyway, um, yeah, I know Kale doesn't go with the dinner, but we're doing it anyway. So these lines are very faded compared to those lines. That does bother me, but I'm going to live with it because that's what I'm doing today. Living with it. All right. So I want to do something funky with these. I just don't know what yet. Let's keep going. Um, let me get some black boxes. I'm just grabbing Mojo Jojo. These are thicker than I'd like for this spread, but we're just going to go with it. Um, how do I want to do this? I guess I'll just put it on the side here. Very slightly crooked, but Nicole, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Um, we're going to put a box up here. Oh no, I ran into his foot. I ran over his foot. Let's get another one of these. Put it here. I think I'm going to take a box off here and like overlap that. But let's wait a minute. I would like a square box, but I think I've used them all because that's my favorite size. Oh wait, I have a couple. And then, oh, there's a lot more squares. Look at this. Yay. Let me know in the comments what your favorite size colorful box sticker is. Mine is definitely square. All right, so I'm gonna, I don't know, make these boxes more exciting. So let's just do this. Like, let's take this pen and like, kind of do that on the sides of some of them, I guess. Just like to make them cooler, you know? These boxes need a makeover. They're not that cool. They're not cool. But pretty soon they're gonna be cool, you know? And it's important that boxes for my patrons are cool. So, you know, that's what I'm doing, making them cool. What can I say? Do I want to bring some color into the box? Ooh, I could do like little circles around the box. I don't know. Or just on the top. And then do one over here maybe? Um, or down the side. Ooh, why not? Getting funky up in here. Nicole, we're getting funky in your spread. I'll bring some of these down here too. And then um, some green, can't forget the green. So let's pull in some green there, a little green line here. Uh-oh, <laughs> evidence. And then maybe like a few big Green circles there. How about a green line here? A couple green circles there. And some blue. I don't know, sometimes it's fun to just change it up and like draw some little things on your boxes. It's kind of fun, right? Maybe we'll do like that on that one. And then some, how about some blue X's here? We'll doodle it, make some doodle boxes. Um, let's some X's here. How about a couple of lines there? Now we're really getting crazy. So crazy. Um, cool, cool and crazy. Uh, total loser. Okay. Um, this looks really good. So, but I'm not done, obviously. I want to use these, you guys, I want to use these, but I don't know exactly how. Oh, I think I'm going to use them not as like complete strips, but as um, pieces, 
of strips. So like little rectangles. Let's just cut some and get all funky. Sometimes what you got to do is just like take a risk and not really think about what you're doing. You know what I mean? Because if you think too hard, you're going to be like, oh, no, I can't do that. That's unheard of, you know, but like, like, don't think so hard about it. It's much easier if you don't. And it comes out cuter. And then you take risks that you wouldn't have taken, you know. And guess what? If you hate it, who cares? There's always next week. Like, just you only have to live with it for seven days. So it's really not a big deal. Um, okay, let's do this. That's fun. And like I said, use all the pieces of the things that you buy. Like, don't throw things away because, like, there's things like this that you could use. Um, and it, it's, you know, it'll save you money in the long run because you're not using another sticker here, you know. Just a thought. So I'm just cutting like different sizes of these and just sort of putting them wherever. Um, that's kind of cool. Maybe I'll do like, I don't know, a little over there or something. Just take it off the page. Why not? I'm gonna have to stop soon, you guys. You know I am because I'm hearing dinner cooking. I'm hungry and I'm tired. Whew, it's been a long day. Okay, um, let's go back into that like cool. <laughs> Why do I keep saying cool? I'm sorry. <laughs> the sticker book. It's fun. Um, let's do something from here. Oh, look, magical. That fits the spread, right? Put it there. And maybe we get, oh, this one says, I believe in magic. It's not really magic, but why not use it? I'm gonna put it down here. Kind of make that a little more exciting. All right, we could add some of these in. These are fun. Let me look and see what else is here. A lot of magic in this book. Oh, magic. What a shocker. Um, your pure magic, don't forget. I really like these little dots. They're fun, aren't they? These are kind of cool. That's a risk. <laughs> it's all a risk, let me tell you. All right. Let me just see what this would look like. I mean, I don't know. Let's put it down. You only live once, you know? Let's do a pink one on the other side. Look, I know I can't put it there. That's not functional. <laughs> I was going to say, I know that there should be a box there. Uh, there really should be. Um, let's not take it too far. Let's actually be functional, okay? Okay. Get it. a square box. Okay, we should do it on that day. I'm not feeling that one, but there's that there. So maybe I, maybe I just take a little bit of it. Hmm. I bring it out here. Maybe that can be like a Sunday box. Hmm. Let's take it all the way off the page. Um, we are almost done. 
thanks for hanging out with me today. And like, if you're still here, wow, you know, you're like super fan if you're still here. <laughs> it's a long one. Yikes. Well, then you're part of like the club, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh. You're part of like, uh, I hate that it went on there. You're part of like the super magical, <laughs> uh, the super magical fun, um, full video club. All right, you can tell I'm getting slap happy and it's time to stop. <laughs> a lot of you had told me though that like you really like it when I get like this. Uh, um, so there's that, you know. <laughs> At least I'm entertaining those few of you who like that. These are kind of cool, right? They're the right colors. Let's throw these in somewhere. And like they fit like the theme, like the stars. Let's put a couple more on the other page. Um, I think I found this at like Joanne or Michaels or something. I think Joanne sells this, so I will link it for you. Um, these sticker books are cute and just like, you know, these American Crafts ones, they're just a little bit different. Like something new, if you're used to Happy Planner all the time, it's nice to kind of like um, switch it up and you know, just get some stickers that maybe you wouldn't normally use. It's just kind of fun to do that sometimes. All right, I think I'm gonna end this with a black box in the sidebar. I definitely need to write Nicole a note about this spread for sure. Okay, I'm gonna doodle around this one too. Let's see, pink. Let's do some like lines here and then maybe some circles on this side. Um, that might be enough. Lines and circles. You can also doodle inside the boxes. That's fun too, but um, I just thought it'd be kind of fun to do like around the outside. I almost started singing Eminem, but I thought that might be taking it too far, so I'm not going to. You know what song I'm talking about. Um, I'm probably gonna fix these lines, just so you know, after the video's over. I will probably make them a little bit darker, but for now, they're okay. What else do I need, you guys? Let's look at here. Look at these, I mean because there's some I did not use, and like these are really fun, aren't they? They're really cool. Do I want one of those? Maybe like I could put two of them on here. Let's sticker it up. I mean, obviously it's a very decorative spread, so I think that's okay to do. And Nicole, if you run out of room, just take some stickers off. It'll be okay. Um. Maybe this one. No, I think that's the wrong choice for there. Let me get the other one. This like darker one here, I think. It's like icy. I think that's better. No, I don't wanna take it too far with that either. But I feel like now it's so much here and like, I think I need one more thing right there and then we'll be done. We will be done. I'm gonna say, remember. And then Nicole, you're gonna write something right in there for you to remember. Okay. You guys, this is a cool spread. <laughs> I really like it. I really, really like it. That It's really fun. Um, definitely never seen one like this before. Never will again. <laughs> it's really cool. Um, Nicole, I hope you love it. And I will um, see you guys in my next video. I am going to go eat some breakfast right now. So I hope you guys have a great day. See ya.